Alright guys, welcome to tutorial number 17 and in this lesson what we're going to do is I'm going to talk more about functions because in the last tutorial what we did is we took a look at the concat function which basically took a list of items and put them all together but now I want to talk a little bit more about functions and the different type of functions. So basically what a function is is it's a name that does something. For example, concat does something to a list of items aka string it together but other functions have different names so let's go ahead and take a look at it some simple examples first so I'm gonna go ahead and select the name of a customer and I'm gonna also select another custom column what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a function called upper now again like I said after every function they always have parentheses and in between the parentheses is when you put the extra information now this information differs from function to function for example upper just takes the name of a column um, concat takes a list it really depends on the function what you have to put inside those parentheses but what this function is going to do is it basically takes this column and it changes it all to uppercase letters so I'm just go ahead and run this query and then you'll see what I'm talking about from customers so again the job of concat was to tie things together the job of upper is just to uppercase everything and each different function has a different job so that is how you can think of functions just jobs so as you can see here is the original name just standard format and whenever you apply the upper function to the column name it changes everything to upper so using functions is actually really simple just go ahead and write the function name and then put whatever information you need to write in between the parentheses now another cool thing is we already saw concat and upper those are called string functions basically they're functions that you can apply to characters or text but you can also use numeric functions for example get the absolute value of numbers get the square root of numbers let me go ahead and show you guys an example select cost and I'll also make my second column to find the square root of cost so square root is the name of the function and cost and by the way I'm not going to show you all the functions because once you learn how to you know use functions in a very basic fashion then it gets kind of you know repetitive so instead of showing you all the functions I'm just going to show you the basics and if you want a list then go on the MySQL website or probably a bunch of different websites have the list of functions but anyways in the first column it's going to be the original cost of the item and in the second column I'm just going to get the square root of that cost from items now to be honest I would have no idea when you would ever want the square root of something <laughs> how much something costs because you never go into a grocery store see a box of cereal that's like five dollars like hmm I need you to know the square root of this you know but this is just an example so basically as you can see the first column is the cost 14 to or excuse me 150 to 15 bucks and the second column is the square root of that number so the square root of 149.99 is 12.24, so on and so forth. So that is how you can use very simple basic functions, both character functions and numeric functions. However, since I have time, I might as well show you guys this. There is another type of function and that's called an aggregate function. You see what these functions did is they basically change the data in some way so you ended up with an entire column of information so the original column was this and then your new column was the exact same length for exa in this example each one was like 30 rows long well what an aggregate function does is it takes an entire column of information and it gives you one answer for example let me go ahead and I would say I want the average of this column so what it would do is it would add up all of these numbers and give you the average and of course the average isn't 30 columns long it's only one answer so say we wanted to add all of the items together the price of all the items and figure out the average cost of all of the items on my website in order to do that just go ahead and select average is an aggregate function so this is only going to give you one number as a result not a whole list the average cost of all the items so let me go ahead and run this and check it out 
instead of giving you a huge list of numbers it just adds up all of the prices of all the items on your website and the average cost of all of them is four hundred and sixty three dollars there you go but what if you wanted to figure out something like how many bids are on all of the items well what we could do is we could hop over to items and say okay bids 3 plus 32 is 35 plus 566 is oh, I gotta go ahead and get my graphing calculator or what we could do is we could just use an aggregate function so in order to do this the aggregate function for this is sum what sum does is it takes a column of bids and it adds up pretty much adds them all up figures out the sum of all of the bids so let me just finish this query from items and check it out there were 10,939 bids made on all of the items on my website pretty sweet huh so in the next tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you guys about the different aggregate functions and also show you guys some other cool examples and how to run several aggregate functions at once so there's a lot more to cover with functions and aggregate functions so sorry but you aren't done yet so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video